The magnificent La Plata de Toros is not only the oldest bull ring, but also the largest and most important arena for bullfighting in Spain. It is a part of the Real Maestranza de Caballeria de Sevilla, a noble guild established for traditional cavalry training. Every year, this bullring is the venue for one of the most well-known bullfighting festivals in the world, held during the festival week Feria de Abril. The regular season goes from March or April until late September, depending on the Semana Santa dates. This building, with its impressive and unique Baroque facade, dates from 1761 to 1881. This yellow and white beauty is considered one of the most popular tourist attractions and is among the most visited monuments in the city. In the Plaza de Toros, there is also the small but interesting Museum of Bullfighting or Museo Taurino. In fact, there's a one-hour guided tour that includes an audio guide or headset in your preferred language. Primero vamos a ver el museo, después pasaremos a la capilla, al patio de caballos y a la plaza al final. The bullfighting museum. Can we go to the chapel and the horses stables? And finally, we get inside the whole ring. Today, the whole tour takes around 40 minutes. Pictures are allowed, but please no flash inside the museum. The route through the tendidas of the bullring is complemented by its art bullfighting collection, which is composed of two clearly distinct sections. The first section that one visits contains an exhibition of paintings and a selection of the bullfighting prints, which belong to the Real Maestranza's collection, one of the largest in the world. Just to clarify, this bullring in Sevilla is considered older having commenced construction in 1761 and was completed in 1785 compared to Ronda's bullring which commenced in 1779 and completed in 1784. However, purists agree that the latter should be entitled to the crown since it was first to stage a corrida. Its collection of memorabilia includes costumes, posters, and bull's heads, as well as paintings of some celebrated Sevillano toreros. It has displays of paintings about bullfighting and all kinds of objects that show the history and evolution of bullfighting and toreros in Spain, tracing the sport's history from the 18th century to present day.
were the most modern of the collections, a varied assemblage on the theme of bullfighting. Bullfighter suits, capes, posters, bulls heads, and paintings by contemporary artists. The visit continues through the court of horses, pretty much the stables. Then the tour proceeds to a place of high spirituality, the bullfighter's chapel, where fighters pray before entering the ring. The altarpiece of the Virgin of the Rosary is the central focus as she is the object of great devotion of the bullfighters and to whom they have made numerous votive offerings. There is also an infirmary, since in about 20% of bullfights, the Torero needs emergency treatment. By the way, there's a souvenir shop selling books, postcards, and posters in the entrance. The Catedral del Torillo was where the corrida or bullfight moved from horseback to foot and many of the cherished theatrical traditions of the Matador evolved. The arena accommodates 14,000 people and, despite its size, the acoustics allow you to hear everything wherever you are sitting. The main entrance is the Princess Gate, with beautiful 16th century iron gates, originally from a convent. The inner facade of the plaza, called the Princess Box, was completed in 1765. This box consists of two parts. First is the theater box, which is reserved for the exclusive use of the Spanish royal family. And then there's the access gate, where after an outstanding performance, the torero or bullfighter will be carried out through it on the audience's shoulders. Located near the bullfighting arena are several statues of people who were significant in the history of bullfighting, like Curo Romero, as shown here. Then there's Manolo Vasquez and Maria de las Mercedes from Bourbon, Sicily, the mother of King Juan Carlos. concludes our visit of this impressive bullring. We never got to watch an actual bullfight because the pandemic happened and everything closed down. Although we were not even sure if we really wanted to watch one as this might be something that's too gory for the kids.